Bracketa Yahweh, Bracketa Yahweh Shai, Bracketa Yahweh, Bracketa Yahweh Shai, Bracketa Yahweh, Bracketa Yahweh Shai. Call Halal La, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's Hebrew, interpret, bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. All right, um, Shalom. Um, I was watching this uh, show on on a breakfast club this morning, <clears throat> as you can see, and uh, I believe this this woman's name is Queen Yashanda Longwolf. All right, it says she speaks on combating police wrongdoings. All right, so she's like a spokesman, you know, the the really you know talk about these Edomites, uh, these Edomite cops, you know, uh, doing wrong and injustice to the so-called Negroes and Latinos, all right? Now, you know, I just want to say a few things that, you know, she even understands from watching from this little interview that I've seen so far that there's really, uh, there will really never be no total injustice when it comes to police brutality and cops being real terrorists, you know? And um, she said this quote, you know, and that's what made me wanna, you know, put forth this lesson from what she said. She said she learned this quote from somebody and it goes hand in hand with the scriptures. And this is another thing too, you know, these guys that's consider themselves wise in the world, you know, they, um, you know, they read a lot. And of course the main source to read is the scriptures. And um, there's a lot of gems, there's a lot of uh, wisdom, um, you know, truth, you know, in the, in the word, in the Bible, all right, which is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah's word. And then you got men that will, you know, say certain things and they'll put it in quotation as if there's, it's their quote, but in all reality, they got it from where? The Bible, all right? They got it from the Lord. So um, I don't want to even play too much of this video, so I'm gonna stop it and pause it because I don't want no strike, um, but, I just want to capture the moment where she speaks on this quote and what she says. Russell means it, it's it's hard to get justice on stolen land. We really cannot get justice on stolen land. Mm -hmm. And until there is a revamping of the infrastructure of this government um, and the Declaration of Independence, is they're still saying that Native Americans are merciless savages. Okay, hold on. I think it's a little, uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. You know, there is still, I mean, the, the amendments that uh, we really cannot oh. get justice on stolen, quote, a life for a life in that situation. Can we end police brutality? And how, do, and how do we slow it down if we can't end it? You know what? There is a quote, um, Russell means, it, it's, it's hard to get justice on stolen land. Said Russell, I guess he said Russell. She said Russell means it's hard to get justice on stolen land, and that's true. All right, because this land and what you call North America is stolen land that these Edomites, all right, which is so called, you know, well, they call themselves so called white people, but the Caucasians they came on this land which they knew, okay, Christopher Columbus, he knew, okay. Uh, about the the ten tribes being here, about the well the northern kingdom being here, the nine tribes, all right, being here on the um on the soils of North America, and he came here, all right, and he slaughtered them, okay, one by one. It took years, but look, it's stolen land. You didn't discover this this land, you know. And um, what I have here, real quick, before I even get scriptures, is uh, I dug in a uh, quick Google search, and it says broken promises on display at Native American treaties exhibit, all right? Now it says, for centuries, treaties have defined the relationship between many Native Americans nations and the U.S. More than 370 RIFU treaties have helped the U.S. expand its territory and led to many broken promises made to American Indians, all right? So over 307 treaties were broken, man. So that just shows you that these Edomites are the devil that the Bible speaks of. And as according to the quote that she said, I think it's Rissel, Riffles, whatever she said, Salakia, um, she said uh, it's hard, you know, to get justice on stolen land. 
And how can you get justice on stolen land? All right, it's not it's not morally right. Because why? This land from the jump is 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 it dealt with what blood? Now I got a quick precept. This is uh, Numbers chapter thirty-five and thirty-three. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. So the only way you can get justice on this land in what you call North America, which the Bible calls Babylon the Great, great confusion. OK, is that the those who shed the blood, which are these Edomites, is that their blood be shed. Let me read it again. Numbers chapter 35 and 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are for blood. It defileth the land and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. You see, so that's just as according to Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, according to the, the word of the Lord, the Bible. All right, now let me get um quick precept. This is Psalms chapter 55 and 20. It says, um, he hath put forth his hands. Matter of fact, start at 19. It says, the most high shall hear and afflict them. Even he that abideth of old shall lie because they have no changes. It says, therefore, they, they fear not the most high. He have put forth his hands against such as be at peace with them. He have broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softened in oil, yet were they drawn swords. And that's clearly these Edomites and what they done unto the native, so-called native Indians, which really they go back to the Israelites being the tribe of Gad and Reuben. All right. So to the Gadites, this is what the Edomites done unto the Gadites. Let me read it again. It says, he have put forth his hands against such as be at peace with them. That's why they have these covenants and treaties as if they have these agreements that they won't cross these boundaries. And guess what? Esau cross them. The same thing he's doing today with these other nations. You know, they have these, these contracts, these treaties, these covenants. And now you see a bunch of tariffs going on. You see a bunch of... um. Um, um, what they call it, Salakia embargo. All right, you know, uh, uh, you have, uh, excuse me, I can't think of it. I think I said it right, Salakia. My brain ain't working right today, I don't know why, but anyway, bear with me. Um, Esau, even today, with these other nations, have broken his covenant, and that's why you have, um, I can't think of the sanctions. There it is, sanctions. You got sanctions going on between these different countries, America and Russia, America and China, all right? Because Esau is the devil that the Bible speaks of, man, all right? So yeah, there is no uh, justice on the land that was stolen. How? Matter of fact, that leads me to another precept, which is uh, Job, uh, Job chapter 14. This is um, this is Job chapter 14 and 4. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. So how can, you know, this land be God's chosen land or God blessing America when this land was, uh, uh, you know, basically uh, uh, bloodshed upon it, which was his people, all right, by, by a heathen uh, nation, which is Esau, Matter of fact, the sons of the wicked, how can this land be actually uh, uh, golden? You know, it can't be. It can't be cleansed. You know, so uh, she was saying in the quote, take the quote, you know, there's no justice out of uh, stolen land. It says, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. So you're not really, you're not never going to get justice until Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai return, man. Until the Lord fulfill his prophecies and all of these, um, these uh prophecies be fulfilled man you know jacob's trouble race war okay um the mark of the beast then ultimately that third world war where the lord is truly going to cleanse this land by the way of thermonuclear fire so it says verse five seeing his days are determined the number of his months are with thee thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass and this is a this is directly toward you edomites okay you have a boundary that you can't pass. You're not merging into this, 
this uh, future of technology and man and machine, you know, mixed and mingled in one. All right. We're not merging into this new society, one world government where everyone is going to be microchipped and Esau is going to sit in the seat of the Lord, seat of the seat of the most high. He's going to sit in the seat of God and everybody worship him. All right. You're not going to be able to calculate all the people in the world. All right. King David, our king, King David tried to do that and the Lord rebuked him. So how much more you Edomites, which is really profane, you know, when you read on Esau, it tells you that um, he sought, uh, there's no repentance for Esau, man. Okay. So I'm going to get back uh, Psalms 55 and 20 again. He have put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He have broken his covenant. All right. And I, you know, we read in the article, it was, um, it was 370 treaties he broke. All right. And he's still doing the same as today. So it says, oh, my bad. Let me get back. All right. It says, um, he have put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He has broken his covenant. The word of his the word of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. And that's exactly what it was, because Esau wanted this whole uh, entire North American region, man. He wanted this side of the world. That's what he came for, to conquer, all right? The rape, rob, and murder. And I'm gonna end it with another script. I'm gonna end it with another scripture and call it a show. Uh, Lord willing, I hope you guys were edified, man. You know, just knowing that this, 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 you Edomites, you're not going unpunished, man. You're not going unpunished. It says, he have put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He have broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. You Edomites, you're not going unpunished, and nor can this land be restored to the, to the greatness in which you had it before. All right, the Most High is breaking down this society. He's destroying it day by day. Okay, you Edomites are falling out of power, man. That's it, all right? Your technology is gonna lead to your own demise. All right, now I wanna end it with this scripture, which is uh, Yahweh Shai, when he spoke here in Matthews. Uh, was it, uh, I think it's John, so I get, let me get John. John 10. This is St. John chapter 10, verse 10. It says, the thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. All right. So the thief is Esau and he comes to do what? Steal, kill and destroy. That's what he's done. But the Lord said he come that he might give life and that they may have it more abundantly. And who was the day? The Israelites. All right, starting with the elect of the uh, Israelites. All right, because them the ones that's gonna be delivered. So, you know, I wanted to play that video. I'm not gonna play too much of it. I know I'm gonna play it back, but you saw it. So I hope you were edified. You know, continue keep putting up prayers, blessings for the brethren who are laboring in this truth, our apostles and elders, and um, keep putting up those curses upon this place. Scriptures tell you in um, Sirach the second chapter to pray for a few days. You know. Hey, we want Yahweh Shai to return. All right, so with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.